Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Oklahoma Sooner fans on the recruiting front as four-star edge rusher Danny Okoye from Tulsa, Oklahoma commits to the Sooners and they are slowly building a really strong class in 2024 and specifically on that defensive line. Guys like Jaden Jackson, guys like David Stone, Brent Venables has clearly shown what he wants to do with this defense since he's taken the job in Norman. And the transfer portal was scooping up a lot of defensive linemen. You take a look at this 2023 team. The talent and depth up front on the defensive side of the ball is massive. And then you take a look at his top targets in the 2024 cycle. A lot of those guys on the defensive line. And he's building a special class up front. Before we get into Danny Okoye, just want to say thank you to you guys. And especially the Oklahoma fans. The amount of support you guys have shown the boys. Whether we're talking game breakdowns summer scouting, recruiting, you guys have shown just so much support. I love talking Oklahoma football. Y'all know that, but largely it's because of all the support you guys show. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And for the Oklahoma fans, as promised, deep dive into that Oklahoma offensive performance against Tulsa coming in tomorrow. Took my notes, got my thoughts ready. So excited to share that with you guys as well. Without further ado, let's get into Danny Okoye. And the first thing you want to talk about on 24-7 sports, I mean, he's listed as the 23rd best edge player in the class, a three-star according to 24-7 sports ranks. You go look at some other recruiting services. On three, has him as a top 100 national prospect, a top eight edge rusher, and the number one player in the state of Oklahoma. At the end of the day, what you're getting with Danny Okoye is a guy with freakishly level traits. I mean, really good length, burst off the line of scrimmage, certainly there, really, really powerful hands. A guy that can win in the pass rush, but also dominant in the run game too. And if you put those trades together, kind of a similar narrative that we talked about with P.J. Adabari, where you're coming in, you're getting a raw athlete, but if you put it together, you're really looking at a special defender in Danny Okoye. Not only are the traits there, though, you take a look at what he's done on the, on the Friday night field at the high school level. I mean, he gets it done. Sophomore and junior year numbers, 121 total tackles. 37 tackles for a loss, 16 and a half sacks. He's a guy that lives in opponents' backfields, and you would kind of expect that to translate to the college football level. I could talk all day long about what he brings. Kind of want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Diving into the film, first thing you see, I mean, really nice athleticism, nice little inside move here. Goes right through that running back. Doesn't really have a chance at stopping him. And then this is this play like really stands out. You freeze frame this right here. I mean, Danny Okoye is out of his stance and almost behind this tackle before the tackle is even out of his stance. He boasts a 4-6-1, or 40, 40 time in his Twitter profile. Normally, I'm pretty skeptical about the, the Twitter posts of the 40s. You, you kind of believe it here. I mean, you see the athleticism and the explosiveness out of his stance on full display. This tackle doesn't stand a chance at picking him up. You watch him right through, makes a play. A guy that's really good operating in space, too, in terms of closing in on quarterbacks, completing sacks. Take a look at the length, too. Like You go back and watch that play. Not only is he just very explosive out of his stance, but he kind of knows how to use that length he has, too. This tackle tries to reach outward here, just absolutely swims him, uses that length. Tackle can't even get a hand on him, makes a play, force fumble in the backfield. Really, really impressive guy. I, motor's there, too. You know what I mean? Like He, he plays really, really hard. He's extremely disruptive, kind of a game wrecker kind of kind of player. You look at this defensive line, like, and you you project this in 2025 and 2026 as you go to the SEC. You have so many different different kind of pass rushers, but so many different disrupting forces. Puts this tackle on his knees. I'd be so pissed if I had to block Danny Coy all game, and I'm a, I'm a senior, junior in high school. Dude's an absolute game wrecker. You see it right there. Taking a look at this Oklahoma class in 2024. I mean, it is really coming along, and I want to talk about what this defensive line group looks like, right? Obviously, the crown jewel of the class, David Stone, already committed. You take a look at down some of these other guys. Nigel Smith from Melissa, Melissa Texas, another top 20 defensive lineman in that 2024 class. You go down even farther, some of my, my personal favorites in this class, Wyatt Gilmore, a guy that is steadily rising up the ranks, and then Jaden Jackson, one of the most – in my opinion, and I'm not an expert high school scouter, but criminally underrated prospects in this class. And it doesn't matter for Oklahoma because Oklahoma is getting him. You're looking at Jaden Jackson, 6'2", 300 pounds, the leader of that IMG defense along with David Stone. This is a defensive line 
that is absolutely elite. They have athleticism. They have physicality. And when you go to the SEC next year, and this is kind of what we talked about, why you want Brent Venables leading this leading this group is you got to be tough up front. I mean, you got to have the dogs to be able to stop the run, get after the passer in Oklahoma. I mean, certainly building that depth and talent up. Now, I want to talk about two other guys that Oklahoma fans should at least just get familiar with in terms of closing out this 2024 class. Now, Williams Winery, obviously the top target committed to Missouri right now. You all know him. Oklahoma is going to keep going after him until he signs on that dotted line in, in December. Like Oklahoma is going to still be pursuing him. But two guys who are uncommitted that I would certainly keep an eye on. You have guys like Terry Bussey, but I want to go to the offensive line. Jordan Seaton, top 100 national player, one of the best interior offensive line prospects in this 2024 class, plays tackle at IMG. You already have the IMG connection with guys like David Stone and Jaden Jackson. Jordan Seaton, considering Ohio State, Alabama just took a visit out to Colorado for that Colorado State game. I wouldn't be surprised if they can get themselves into this one, right? The IMG connection is strong. David Stone, Jaden Jackson, two of the leaders of the IMG class, you know they're going to be recruiting their butts off for Jordan Seaton, and he's already considering Oklahoma. So if you kind of build that IMG connection and IMG pipeline, that would be really nice to establish for Oklahoma. You feel pretty good about that one. And then going to Grant Bricks, Logan, Iowa, another top 10 offensive tackle in this 2024 class. If there is one thing that they might be missing, right? You have Jackson Arnold in that 2023 class. You got some elite receivers in this 2024 class, the number one running back in Taylor Tatum, an awesome defensive line. If there is one position that you might want to see them pick one pick an elite guy up in this 2024 cycle it is probably on that offensive line Jordan Seaton and Grant Bricks two massive targets for coach Bill B to maybe heat up with and Grant Bricks is a guy interesting story you're working against Kansas State Nebraska certain I, I think has the lead as of now but Oklahoma kind of turning it up on Grant Bricks would not be surprised if they can finish on Grant Bricks and you talk about landing one of those two guys in Jordan Seaton or Grant Bricks you're suddenly looking at this Oklahoma class that is already a top 10 class after a dominant class in 2023. You're feeling really good about what the talent level that Brent Venables is bringing to Norman. And if they start winning some games, like I think they are and how they look and how they've been doing so far, you're going to see recruiting, I think, kind of really heat up for the Sooners. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys as usual. If you do enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate the Sooner fans a lot for supporting us. And we'll talk to you guys 